coding made easy. So what's up everybody and welcome to your next libgds tutorial uh, on a file on file systems. Hopefully this actually goes right. This is like my third take right now. So hopefully I get this one right. So with file systems, there are five different file systems in libgdx. Um, we've only been working with one so far, but we may look into some of the other ones a bit later. But let's let's look at what they do. So the class path is directly stored in your source folder, so where they get pa um, they get packaged in your jar file. Um, so it is only read only. Your internal is relative to your application's root or working directory on desktops and relative to your assets directory on Android. Mm -hmm. Right, so keep that in mind. So it's relative to the root directory on desktops and relative to the assets directory on Android. It will fall back on the class path if the file is not found and internal is read only as well. The local storage is relative to the root or working directory on desktops and relative to the internal private storage of the application on Android or iOS. Um, External is relative to the SD card root on the Android or iOS and, or, and it is relative to the home directory on desktop, not the root directory, the home directory, which is the C drive slash user slash Peter slash, yeah, and like, um, yeah. And then uh, the absolute is the absolute path, so it's a full path name from the home directory to wherever your path is. It's not recommended to use this uh, as it is not really good for portability. Only use it as a last resort if you absolutely have to use it. Now for these file path storages, storage systems, sorry, uh, all of these work on every single devices except for HTML. Internal is the only one that is supported on HTML5. Uh, so, and since internal is read only, you can't really write to files. There may be some ways to get around it, but uh, there's no direct way to actually write to files. So, what is the what are the file systems used for in our programs? So, the three main ones are internal, local, and external. Internal, what we've been using is to load in all the assets like images and audio. The local is normally used for writing small files, so that's where I wrote like my save game files and and stuff like that. And external is for big files like screenshots, downloadable content, etc., etc. Um, so, anyways, uh, with that being said, let's actually get into some code right now. Um, so we're gonna just uh, do gdx files dot internal. And we're going to say, uh, oh, actually, before that, we're going to say GDX files. Sorry, I got a call. Sorry, that was my uh, my little sister calling me. Anyways, um, so we're going to say GDX files uh, dot is. And we can check to see if is external storage available or is local storage available. So we know that it's available on each device, but we want to check just in case. Maybe some older Android devices didn't have external storage or some older computers don't support it or something. So you, um, if you if you really want to be on the safe side, you can check. I really, I've never used it, but you can always check to see just to be on the safe side and have a fallback just in case they don't actually uh, support that. So we can also, uh, one thing we can do is we can check to see if certain files actually exist uh, if you want to be on the safe side as well. So we just use exists and it will return a boolean value, true or false, if the file exists. We can also check to see if the path we specified is a directory. So we can check to see if it, if it is a directory, and if it is a directory, we, we can do stuff like it, like list all the files in it. So let's so let's do that. Let's list all the files in the actual directory and and write it to the actual console. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a file handle, and we're gonna call it handle, and we're gonna say gdx files internal data, and that's it. 
So whenever we use like internal or class path or any of the file uh, systems, it returns, if you hover over it, it returns a file handle. So uh, the file handle is a built-in GDX, uh, libgdx um, class, which actually is used to handle files. So we're going to say, okay, if handle is a directory, so if that, that file we specify, that location is a directory, then we're going to use a range based loop and loop through the list. So we're going to say handle.list. So it's going to list all the files in the directory and we're going to use gdx.app.log to actually display it as a log. And we're going to say file.toString. Now when we run the, let's run this program and let's see what we actually get so it should be listing all the files in, within our directory in the in the console now let's scroll down and we see nothing congratulations now why do we see nothing well as I said before that when we use internal or something it is related to the working directory and when we use uh, internal say on Android or iOS is relative to the assets directory now normally we don't have to do this whenever we're working with when we're actually loading in files or loading in images or something like that but I've noticed I've had to do this when working with directories so when we're working with directories uh, on desktop we have to put uh, dot slash for the current directory we, we don't really have to put dot slash but I normally do it slash bin and then we do the actual the actual file path and once we do this and we run it we are actually going to get our file paths so now you're saying okay okay that, that's how it works on desktop so um, there's different things you can do so one thing you can do to check if it's on desktop is you can check okay if this directory exists then it must be desktop and so load in this thing and if the bin folder doesn't exist then it must be another device and yada 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 you can also do you can say gdx.app.getType if it's equal to application type dot desktop so we can say okay if the application is a desktop application then we're going to load it using dot bin and you can say that if it's on android or if it's on ios or something like that you can load something different um so you can use all these different uh, values like that so it's something interesting that you guys can actually look into so um another thing too that we can do with uh these is we can use we can find a parent directory or uh, or child child um, child items. So we're gonna say uh, let's just take this. Say GDX app, and we're just gonna say parent. And we're just gonna say okay. We're gonna say dot parent to string and it's just going to tell us what the parent directory is so it's just going to let us know that data is the parent directory for uh, player.png as you can see it says data and then we're going to change the child and we're going to we're just going to put child and we're going to check for a child item in this directory so let's say player.png it's going to give us the path to that which is data slash player.png and as we see we get our child right there so I've never really had a use for that I've never used that in my life before but um, just for just in case um, you guys want to actually use that now for the I guess some of the most important things like reading and writing to files and, and manipulating files and stuff like that that's what I think you guys are most uh, interested in uh, so what we're gonna do is I didn't create uh, I don't think I created a file um, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna say okay um, gdx files the internal and we're gonna just say data slash test dot text and we're gonna say file dot create new file so um, and we need to surround this with a try and catch block 
in case it is unable to is it, if it is unable to load in the file then it will it will catch it and we can use an exception uh, so we're just gonna run this program right now hopefully we don't run into any errors and we do run to oh yeah because internal we can't create a file with internal so let's say local so let's run this and the system can't find the specified file uh, oh yeah cuz I'm pretty sure I'm have to do dot bin cuz I'm using local I don't know actually I'm not sure if you can actually create a file internally I know you can't write to it but maybe you can create it I'm not really too sure but it doesn't really matter so now let's go to the data let's refresh it and I don't see a text file in there not sure why I don't see a text file but I'm pretty sure it's saved oh yeah it's, it's saved in a um, should be saved on the desktop somewhere sorry uh, I'm not sure where it's relative to the root directory so it's saved somewhere I'm not exactly sure um, I'm probably going to have to search the file path for that, but uh, we have our test file that is actually uh, created. So um, let's create a new file, sorry, right now. We're just going to create test1, and we're going, or actually, just use a test file, and we're going to create a file handle, and we're going to say, okay, uh, gdx files dot local. Bin slash data slash test dot text and we are going to say handle dot write string so we're just gonna write a string to it we're gonna say la 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 we're happy and we have something called append so append if we set it to true if there's already text in the file it's just gonna start writing from the end of the file if we set append to false it's gonna erase everything in the file and then write everything as a brand new document so we're just gonna write la 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 so we'll just run this so we can write it to the file and it wrote to the file but obviously we don't see anything so they wrote that to the file and now we let's just get rid of this right now and we're actually going to read the string inside the file. So we're going to say, okay, file handle, handle is equal to gdx files dot. We can say internal if we want to, but let's just say local uh, dot slash bin data test dot text. And we're going to say, let's just read it to the console. So we're just going to say handle dot read string. And so that's going to read out the text file for us. And let's see if this actually worked. Crossing my fingers now. And voila, it didn't work. So I went to see in, in our actual desktop, um, in our bin slash data directory, if the file was actually created. So it was created. Um, and when I opened the file, nothing was actually written in it, so we screwed up somewhere in our writing our string. But I opened it up and put in the, the text test, ran it again, and it actually read in our file. So let's see if we can actually write to our file um, one more time. So let's say handle.write string, and we're going to say uh, la, la la again, and we're going to say yes to appending it. I'm going to say true and let's run this program so that should be done let's open up the file and voila it appended to the end of the file so we rewrote to our file don't know what went wrong the first time but as you can see it is working I know it's been long but last but not least we just have a few other things to uh, cover so uh, we can delete files we can move files and we can rename them and we can copy them and we can um, uh, we can do some other stuff but I'll just go into rename and delete and then I'll let you guys explore how to copy to a location and move to a location it's pretty much all self-explanatory uh, 
pretty easy. So to delete something, say delete. So we delete it. We can delete it here. We just gotta delete the file handle. So that's it. We delete it. If you wanna rename it to something, we'll say dot rename, and we'll just uh, rename it to blah dot text, and not sure why I have to add a cast hmm wow they must have gotten rid of the the rename feature but we can copy to a destination and you you will uh, use the file handle to specify destination and you can move it to another destination and you can use the file handles to move it to a new destination so anyways, that's it for this super long tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't forget to like and uh, uh, like on Facebook, follow on Twitter, because that's where I do a lot of my updates. So that's it, and bye for now.